joined by the Broncos of Fayetteville State University, led by head coach Eva Patterson Heath. Coach, I would like you to just start off by introducing your student athletes and then open up with comments about the game today. Um, then I will, afterwards, I will open up the floor for additional comments and questions. Please silence all your cell phones, and if you need to take a call, please step out. Coach, you have the floor. Thank you. Um, with me today is Amber Calvin on my right. And then on my left, my far left, is Akeisha Resper and Janina Robertson next to me. These are three, the three seniors on this year's basketball team. Virginia Union is a, an excellent basketball team. They've much improved since the last time we played them. They are well coached. They do what they do, and, and they do it very well. Um, and tonight, I felt like our on-ball defense Second, well, throughout the entire game, but especially the second half was a difference. Um, Jelena Robertson was tasked with guarding Brown, and um, but pretty much the entire second half, I felt like she did a great job on her. Questions or comments from the floor? <coughs> um, Coach, um, you know, it was very hard for our game, and, and, and the ladies did well. But at, at one point when um, they had the four foul on Freeman, our girls cheered, you know, but then when she came back, there was no attempt uh, to, to, to foul her out and get the fifth foul, and she sparked the team, uh, telling Dennis she, she made a difference. Um, how did you get the girls to, 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 you know, stay focused inside of that period when she came back in and it kind of sparked them to get close enough? Well, I, I would attribute that to these young ladies that are with me today. They are, they're on a mission. They are very focused um, and have been focused for such a long well, throughout the entire season. Um, and it doesn't matter, you know, who's on the court. We're not out there try to try to foul anyone out. Um, we're just out there to play our basketball. Eva, could you talk about the? Uh, I mean, they do have a contrasting style. You like to push it and have an up tempo. They're there in this half court game. I mean, how difficult is that for you guys to kind of? Because uh, it looked like it was their pace in the first half. Um. You know, it, it, this was our second game, and again, it, it goes back to the scouting report. We, we knew that they're a transition team, and I felt like our young ladies did a great, great job in keeping Ashley from being able to score in transition. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the times that she did break out, we always had someone there. And it, it, it just, again, speaks to the determination that these young ladies have. But the they go up at six, and you call that timeout with about 14, 20 left. What, what was kind of your message to your team at that point? And did you call that play for Amber to, to, out of the huddle or to score, or did she just take that on herself? I think the play was called, but what I, I you know, they're a transition team. They fed off their, their um, defense and, and easy baskets, and I didn't want them to be able to score again. So what I was trying to do was just change the momentum there. <clears throat> you call it yeah. oh, um, <laughs> I just want to expand on what you were saying. I think I was down at six. And then that one on like the, I think about 19 feet on it, and that thing right off the head was pretty much take control. <clears throat> what do you think is the key to that one? Um, Keisha, can you answer that? So you did kind of get aggressive. That three-point shot that you hit to um, put you guys ahead, I mean, uh, you took that without any hesitation at that point. I mean, were you looking for a three to kind of get you guys out in front because it had been a while since you'd been in the lead at that point? No, but, I mean, Amber threw it to me. She wouldn't throw it to me. It's always open. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't have to tell you to shoot, though, did she? Yes, I did. Yes, she did. <laughs> 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 yes, she did. Yes, she did. I have a question for Amber. At that time when you made the pass to her and you, and you told her she, she shot, you were really exuberant at that point, but then shortly after that you, you, were, you were put down on the floor. Um, what was it that, uh, that, that inspired you to come on back out and take, after it takes you up, as I guess you might say? Just the, just the will to play. Like, I had so many injuries like that. That's, that's, that's minor. I'm definitely coming back in. 
Au dos du 2, il est du 8, tu vas voir, mon chat. Non, parce que nous étions en train de penser à moi. Je ne sais pas, je ne sais pas. Je ne sais pas. I'm excited. This is actually my second time entering a championship game, so I'm very determined. And I know the seniors are very determined to win this championship game. Well, Casey, do you feel like y'all have some kind of unfinished business in the finals after getting so close last year? Yeah, um, I think we don't have anything to prove to anybody else. We just have something to prove to ourselves. Travis, what do you want to do to prepare to walk against uh, out of the next round as you play? That's a really good question, and it doesn't matter. <laughs> You know, I've been coaching for such a long time. I've kind of gotten over those um, those quirks <laughs> as far as um, you know preparation for the game. So no, we'll we'll do what we normally do. Eva, could you talk about the impact of free throws in this game for them and for you? Um, you, you know, in, in close games, it's going to come down to rebounding and free throws. And fortunately, we were able to make our free throws tonight. Um, They did. They shot 41%. So, you know, that's a big difference in the game. 84% to 41%. Yeah, were you getting a little worried that they were getting to the line so many times there at the end? Because it kind of opened the door for them. <laughs> well, you, you, that's part of the game. You, you, we certainly didn't want to stop the clock and put them on the free throw line. You know, those were the instructions given to them. But it ended up being the flow of the game, and and um, when we needed to. Deja hit two, Jay hit two, Amber hit two. You know, that was good for us. Yeah, I was going to ask you, how did you feel with Deja at the line? Uh, I mean, uh, she's a pretty good free throw shooter for a big uh, big girl, but uh, was that the ideal person you would have had at that situation? It, you know, it, it really doesn't matter because um, whoever is, you know, whoever has to shoot the free throws still has to make the free throws. I think I just bring a lot of experience as well as the other seniors they do. It's just experience and we just want to lead the team. If there are no other questions or comments, we would like to conclude this session. I would like to congratulate Coach.